So what Teams is, is a one-stop shop for all of your upcoming projects. And it doesn't matter if it's a small project or a large project, an annual project, or something that's ongoing. So how do we create a team? If you look at the bottom, you'll see join or create a team. Well, that's easy enough. Create a team right over here. You'll build a team from scratch. And the biggest decision you need to make is whether you want a private or a public team. Private teams will give you the ability to control and to see who is on your team. Public teams are great if you have news releases or things that you wanna share with your organization. Even things like Toastmasters, running clubs, things that would apply for everyone. We're gonna create a private team because that's where I'd recommend you start. You'll uh, give your team a name. So let's say we're going to uh, work on a project for Netcom. You want to put in a really good description always. You want to describe the team, who the owner is, and what the team does. This will make it easy for people to find you if they are searching in your organization and for your team easy enough to click create. You'll get kudos for doing some great work. And the first thing you wanna do is bring in some, the members that you're selecting work with your active directory. So you'll find those contacts easily. You can add your team by a group or individually. As I mentioned, there's only two options when you have a team member and they're either going to be a member or an owner. Owners have specific or additional privileges that members don't have. So let's say that uh, I joined Tracy's team today from Netcom and uh, she happens to be out on vacation somewhere. But luckily Don is there and Don was also made an owner. Don can add me as a team member. But owners also are able to delete teams. So best practice, two to four owners and everyone else a member. Once you've selected who your owners will be, you will click close. You can always change the permission levels. 